So you want to make an animated PowerPoint that plays like a movie? Maybe about a kitten adventure who wakes up on a rainy morning and wants to hide under the covers. Maybe about sports like pole vault or the triple jump kayaking, or even ice hockey. Maybe about dinosaurs who are going through your hometown. I'll show you how. To make your own animated PowerPoint movie, you'll have to start with a new slide. Click on New Slide and choose the blank template. Then we're going to start by getting our background. In your animated PowerPoint, the background represents the setting of your story. Instead of right clicking to format your background or even choosing a design, we're going to insert the background as a clip art. In this case, I'm going to make a slide about a horse and a farmer on the farm. So I'm actually going to search for a barn because I want my setting to be outside of a barn. This picture looks great. When I insert it, I'm going to resize it to fill the entire slide. That way when my slide is showing, as you can see here, the only thing you'll see is that background, which is the setting. Next, I'm going to insert my characters. In this case, it's going to be a horse. I want to find one that does not have a background included in the picture. That way I can move it on top of the background that I already inserted. I like this one. I'm going to move him where I want him and actually in my animation I'm going to have him move towards us. So I'm going to start him kind of small and he'll get bigger as he gets closer. I'm also going to find a farmer who will be working on the farm. Each of the characters should be inserted as their own clip art and any objects that they are using that you'll want to move separately should also be inserted separately. I'm going to make my farmer kind of small. He's working in the background. Next, we're going to add animations to give action to our characters in the story. I'm going to choose the horse and come up to the Animations tab and choose Custom Animation. We can see that the custom animation settings are over here on the right hand side. We can add several different kinds of effects. We can add entrances. The entrances make things appear in different ways. These are really fun, especially if you are doing a fantasy story, maybe with magic. We can also have an emphasis. An emphasis leaves your character or object on the board but makes it move or change in some way. In this case, I'm going to add the emphasis of grow and shrink to make it look like it's getting closer. Now I don't need it to get it quite as big as it said to, so I'm going to change the size to a custom size of 125. Now you can make things get very big or get smaller as they move away. It looks like I've inserted an animation I didn't want. If you get one and you do not want to use it, you can click on it and hit delete. Next, I want to make my horse move. So I'm going to go to the effect of motion paths and I'm going to draw a custom path with a scribble. This allows me to draw my horse going anywhere that I want him to go. Now I see that when he was moving he actually moved behind the farmer. So I'm going to right click on my horse and bring him to the front. Now when I play that we can see that he's getting bigger and he's moving. Now I want him to move and get bigger at the same size to show that he's coming towards us. To do that we're going to edit these animations. Right now they both say on click but we want them to say with previous. When I play this 
Now they happen at the same time and it looks like the horse is moving towards us. That's how we do our animations. Next, we're going to add text to our story. To do that, we're going to go to the Insert tab and add a text box. You could also use word art for this. You want to make sure that your font color is a color that will show up on your background. One bright summer day, a horse had an idea. He saw the farmer working in the field as usual, but thought that maybe he needed a new adventure. Once you have your text box in, we're ready to do our narration. To do that, go to the Insert tab, and then go to Sound, and hit Record Sound. One bright summer morning, a horse had an idea. He saw the farmer working in the field as usual, but thought that maybe he needed a new adventure. And you can see here that it says my total sound length is 12 seconds. Uh, that's very important because we want to know how long to show our slide. So I'm going to keep that in mind. I'm going to call this sound horse. Again, you can see that my sound has appeared in the animation settings over here. And I want to go ahead and do a couple of things to the formatting of those sounds. So I'm going to click on the sound and come up here to Sound Tools and Options. I want to hide the icon during my show and I want it to change it so it plays automatically. Now we can see that it is one of the animations just like these, but right now it's set to After Previous. I want to set this one also to With Previous. Now when I play this, they will all happen at the same time. If you want one of the things, either your narration or any of your actions, to happen later, you can right click and click on timing and delay that action. So in this case, I'm going to allow my words to start, my narration to start, before my animation. Now, my slide is done. When you're all finished, it looks like this. One bright summer morning, a horse had an idea. He saw the farmer working in the field as usual, but thought that maybe he needed a new adventure. And that's the way you make an animated PowerPoint. The more slides you make, the more intricate your story. So have fun and enjoy your new project.